for farmers and ranchers in southern Alberta, water and irrigation play a vital role in producing quality products. That's why the Alberta government, the Canada Infrastructure Bank, the Agriculture and Forestry Investment, and three irrigation districts are investing $133 million to expand the Chin Reservoir. Dryland canola in, in this part of the province, this year especially, would be about 10 bushels to the acre, where if it's on irrigated land, it would be about 60 to 70. So when you look at $16 an acre, or $16 a bushel canola, that's a, that's a huge economic benefit to, to the farmer as well as to Alberta's economy. The last irrigation project to happen in southern Alberta was over 35 years ago. St. Mary River, Tabor and Raymond Irrigation Districts are leading the way and will benefit eight districts across southern Alberta by increasing the water storage capacity. Minister of Agriculture and Forestry Devin Dreershin says the project will attract value-added food processing companies to the province. This irrigation expansion actually act as a magnet for these food manufacturers, food processors to actually want to set up shop here in Alberta. So we're not actually shipping by train raw agricultural products but refined retailed agricultural products when we manufacture it here and get all the, the job benefits from that. The project is slated to cost $815 million and will create roughly 7,000 construction jobs. Chair of the St. Mary River Irrigation District, George Lohuse, says the added irrigation is a welcomed site for farmers in the region. The irrigation, uh, it, it just gives you security that you will get a crop. Uh, provided there's no hail, but other than that, you're going to get a crop. And for a farmer, that's just so very important. I mean, it costs a lot of money to invest in irrigation, but it gives you so much security. So that's why it's attractive for us. The completion of the whole project is anticipated to be in the spring of 2028. For Bridge City News, I'm Carson Marsuk.